What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm sitting on the floor by my bed. I know it's not the greatest background, but this is really good lighting right now coming in from my windows and I've never filmed here, so this is the spot for today. Today's video is going to be a Snapchat Q&A and I've actually never done one of these before. I really enjoy watching them and I feel like it's the most personal way to take you guys' questions. So I set my Snapchat for the first time to public and you guys are just come you can't really even see that but you guys are coming through with the questions so let's just go ahead and get started first one you could spend the rest of your life at one music festival which one would it be oh i love that question so much okay so if i could spend the rest of my life at one music festival it would be electric forest in michigan which is in june it's my favorite music festival if you guys are going to go to any festival and you like electronic music and jam bands they have more than that too but that it's like primarily an electronic and jam band festival um you should go to electric forest it's beyond anything that i have ever been to in this country and i definitely plan to expand and go to festivals out of the country too but that is definitely my answer hi Lindsay. i freaking love you my question is what is your next potential hair coat Okay, I love you too, and I like this question because I have actually had this hair color for a long time. I dyed my hair in like October, and I mean it's almost summer now, so I am changing up my hair color, and I'm gonna grow my hair out again, which I haven't done in over three years, and I'm gonna dye it back blonde for the summer. I'll probably do that in the month of May. What inspires you and what gives you such like, great confidence? Thank you, love you, bye! <laughs> I love your accent so much. Um, what inspires me and what gives me confidence? I would say what inspires me is seeing people around me doing the things that they're passionate about and seeing people just really happy with what they're creating and with what they're doing. Honestly, I feel like a lot of times success can, you can really get caught up in your head. I need to do this and go to this school and get these grades and get this job to make money and to be successful and to be happy and honestly I kind of think a lot of that is a trap because I really just think following like that thing or those things that you do in your life that just make you glow and just make you smile whatever they are doing more of that even if it's not something you're going to pursue as your career so i don't know if that really answered the question but the second question was um what gives me confidence and i think what gives me confidence is just knowing who I am as a person and being happy with the person that I am and knowing that I try my best to treat people just how I would want to be treated and with respect and hopefully with you know enough love and I think that's what gives me the most confidence is just the type of person that I believe that I am and just trying to be better every single day because we can all be better that's something really important too so I definitely know I can always improve myself um, I hope that answered the question. Hi Lindsay, um, I've been following you for years, I love you. Um, I was just wondering, do you have any plans um, to go back to college? Okay, this is a good question. I love you too. And um, right now, I don't have any plans to go back to college. It's not something that's in the works for me right now. It's not something that's like calling me right now to go and get a degree in something and pursue that right now. Um, I definitely am not opposed to the idea in the future. If I have something else that I want to study and something else that I want to, like, pursue, then I definitely, you know, have the open door to go back to school. Right now, I'm more focused on um, opportunities to travel and opportunities to just, like, see things and do things while I'm young and not held to a job, held to a school, held to a relationship or to a person. So I really feel like this is the time in my life that I have been and that I need to do more of taking advantage of being really, really free and just doing the things that make me happy at this time in my life. Hey Lindsay, if you had to pick one musician to listen to for the rest of your life, who would it be? <gasps> okay, I can confidently say it would be Lord because even though Lord only has one album out, yes, her album Melodrama is coming out in June, June 16th, I believe, and I literally cannot wait for that moment. 
Um, Lord, I saw her, well, I've seen her live a couple times actually, but I saw her live on Sunday night to end Coachella. Her performing abilities and the way that she, I feel, connects with the whole crowd, but almost you as an individual is so incredible, but it's more than that. It's like when I listen to Lord's music, her album Pure Heroin, that album came out in 2013, and I've not gotten sick of it. I bump, I could bump every song on that album nonstop throughout the day and probably not get sick of it. I just absolutely fucking love Lord and I don't know she's so cute she favorited my tweet about or liked uh, she liked my tweet about her performance that I tweeted to her on after Sunday night and I was just like like how did she even see this what festivals are you going to this year I've been at the same festivals as you for so long and I never got to meet you so I'm gonna meet you this year <laughs> let's see Okay, well, we need to meet, and I hope that we will. This year, what I have in the works is I'm going to one day of Shaky Beats, which is in Atlanta. That's actually one week from today. I'm so fucking excited. So I'm going to Friday of that, um, and then I'm going to Electric Forest Weekend 1 in June, and then I'm going to, I believe I'm going to go to Pemberton, which is in British Columbia, in mid-July. And then I'm definitely going to Panorama in New York City the last weekend of July. Those are all pretty much for sure. Pemberton is a little bit up in the works. The lineup just came out today, and I like it. I think I'm going to go. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have gone to Pemberton. It's kind of like the Coachella of Canada. That's what I've heard. Um, but like in the mountains. So... Yeah, and then I might go to Shambhala, Shambha Shambhala, I don't know if I'm saying it right, it's also in British Columbia, if I can find a ticket and people to go with. And girl, we will meet, don't worry, just honestly, if you want to meet me at a festival and you're going to the same festival as me, just tweet me, and if we're in the same place at the same time, like, I will hope, probably see it, and I will try my absolute best to meet you guys. I always try to meet people at festivals. If you guys tweet me and you're like, I really want to meet up, there's always a place that we can meet up and say hi and take a photo. Hi, Lindy. I just want to know what your number one body positive tip is. Um, I don't really have one. I just want to know what your number one I love that. My number one body positive tip is treat yourself and your body with love. Your body does so much for you. Your body literally is the reason that you're here, the reason that you're living, like, it breathes for you, it walks you places, it does essentially everything from you, it gets you from place to place, so treat your body like a temple, treat your body, you know, fulfill it, fill it with the things that make you happy, and um, find, I would say, you know, find some some way that you enjoy moving just something that you enjoy for me i really like dancing that's pretty much my favorite but just for being po body positive just really try to treat your body with love i really i know it's hard just i feel like everyone struggles with this and everyone has things that they don't love about their bodies and they don't love about themselves but treat your body with respect and with love hey lindsay it's alexa um, I want to know what your favorite song by the 1975 is. Oh, hey girl. I just want to see the 1975 with Megan last night. I wonder if that's why you asked because you saw it on Snapchat. But, um, my favorite song by the 1975, honestly, it's kind of basic, but it's sex. I mean, that song is freaking incredible. And also, um, there's a really good remix of that song. It's pretty old, you guys might have heard it, but it's by Ryan Hemsworth. So look up on SoundCloud, Ryan Hemsworth Sex Remix, the 1975. I think I like the remix better, but that's my favorite. And they played Sex last night, along with a bunch of incredible songs from the new album, so. Fuck yeah. Hi Lindsay, so my question is, what was your most embarrassing moment? Love you. Oh my god, this is a good question because for so long I didn't have a most embarrassing moment and now I think I have a little story that is my most embarrassing moment and this will be the last question for this video. My most embarrassing moment was last summer when I was taking Squirtle on a plane from Atlanta back to LA. It was about a five hour flight and Squirtle is always on incredible behavior on the airplane. He's seriously so good. So we've never had any issues until this time. So in the middle, like maybe two or three hours into the five hour flight, Squirtle started clawing at his carrier and really trying to get out of his carrier. And you're really not allowed to take the dog out of the carrier. I mean, occasionally I will and put him on my lap, but you're not supposed to do that. Like they'll tell you to put them back under there. So he was under my seat. 
and he was in the carrier clawing like crazy like really I feel like trying to get my attention just trying to be like I need to get out of here I kind of opened it up and let his head out and stuff like that and then kind of I do a little and everyone around me is doing a little what is that and Squirtle had pooed liquid all over the inside of his carrier in the middle of the five hour flight all over it was so sad that's not even the worst part you guys so people start looking at me people are like what is that i don't even think that most people knew that i had a dog so people are literally just kind of like looking over at me and looking over at my row like what the fuck like people it was disgusting you guys so honestly i froze up at this point i was like what do I do? So the lady next to me goes, can you take him to the bathroom and clean it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I fucking think of that first? It was, I mean, at this point, it was probably like 30 seconds or a minute into anything, but like it literally smelled so fucking bad. It honestly smelled up like the whole section of the plane, which is like shit. So me and Squirtle, he was so ashamed of himself. It was so sad. This was probably his most embarrassing moment too. So we went into the really, really fucking tiny plane bathroom together and I just like put his carrier there, put Squirtle on the floor and was cleaning it. And then in the bathroom, Bathroom, he threw up like literally seven times he puked on the floor like seven times so basically he got really sick I don't know if from what it was um, this day but he just was feeling sick and he needed to go to the bathroom and he couldn't go to the bathroom on the plane that's like something that's really sad about bringing your dog on a long flight he puked and then I cleaned out his carrier and um, it took me like literally an hour to clean it out and then we went back to our seat and it like still smelled like shit and I just felt so embarrassed and I just felt like everyone around me was just like stupid like stupid idiot like people probably thought that I literally shit my pants honestly so I think that's my most embarrassing moment before I end this video nobody asked a question about this which I thought maybe somebody would but I wanted to announce to you guys that I'm going to be moving and I'm moving back to Atlanta for the summer it's a temporary move so I'm not like straight moving back forever but i'm moving back to atlanta for the summer which is probably going to be until maybe august or september and i'm going to be traveling going to festivals and just kind of like primarily like based there but i'm moving out of my apartment here which is really sad and really emotional but that means that i can do moving vlogs which are always good so um i'll be doing moving vlogs for you guys i've already started packing up a little bit and also in the month of may there are some adventures coming i'm going on a really fun road trip with my parents and then i'm going to be traveling home to atlanta i'm not leaving la for good um i plan to come back probably like i said in maybe august or september uh and just live in a different area so yeah that's what i'm up to that's what i'm doing so moving vlogs will be coming probably probably on this channel maybe on living like Lindsay pretty soon in the next couple weeks and before I end this as well I wanted to recommend to you guys the book that I've been listening to recently I'm maybe three-fourths of the way done with listening to this but it's called adventures for your soul by Shannon Kaiser I think it's 21 like steps to help like positively change your life and just really you know get to like what you want and start reaching your goals and all that kind of stuff so this is what i've been listening to lately on audible and i'm almost finished and for this video i've teamed up with audible and they're giving all of you guys a chance to try them out if you haven't for free for 30 days audible has not only audiobooks which is my favorite way to read books honestly but comedy news original shows audiobooks are great to listen to when you're driving or you're on the train or the bus or you're cleaning so you guys can get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial of audible and I would highly recommend checking it out if you guys haven't I know so many youtubers talk about it but seriously like I've been using the app for like over a year now I have a ton of stuff in my library all you have to do is go to audible.com slash Lindsay sign up for your free trial and then you can download your first 
free book to listen to and like I said I would recommend Adventures for Your Soul by Shannon Kaiser for real. So check that out the link will be in the top of the description box as well as all of my links and I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever snapchat Q&A. Leave me a comment down below letting me know you're just I want to talk to you guys in the comments I always love to so let me know you know what you're up to this summer let me know any video requests you guys have if I should do more snapchat Q&A's let me know that and if you made it to the end of the video you're the best and I freaking love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time